Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming another what I eat in a day video for you guys. And you seem to really like these, so I'm just going to keep making them. So I've changed my diet quite a bit in the last six months or so. And I now eat 100% gluten free, dairy free, and sugar free. So all of my recipes that I'm going to be showing you today are all of those things. And they're also vegan, so if you're vegan, then these recipes will work great for you too. I've also been trying to make my recipes really simple lately and just make them easy to whip up because I think that being healthy should be easy and not too much work. I know a lot of people say that it's so much work to make food at home all the time and it is a lot of work if you make it too complicated but if you just put together simple recipes and keep it nice and easy and minimal then you'll love being healthy and it'll save you a lot of time. And if you guys are new here, then my name is Sarah and I make a lot of healthy recipe videos and what I eat a day videos and a lot of other fun stuff. So if you guys are interested, I would love to have you subscribe. And with that said, let's get into the video. So for breakfast this morning, I'm just having a mango basil green smoothie. And all I do is add some spinach, basil, frozen mango, and then something to sweeten it. So you can either add some dates or frozen banana or stevia. And then I added some plant-based protein powder and that was my breakfast. So for lunch, I'm just having a Greek pasta salad. So all I'm gonna do is chop up some fresh cucumbers, baby tomatoes, and then some red onion. And then I'm just gonna cook some gluten-free pasta. So this is my favorite brand and you just need to make sure that you don't overcook it. While that's cooking, I'm gonna make the dressing. So all of the ingredients and measurements, I'll just include in the description below for you guys. Once your pasta is finished cooking and it's cooled down, you're just gonna add all of the ingredients into a bowl, top it with the dressing and mix it together and it's done. So for dinner, I'm just making a cauliflower fried rice bowl and these are super easy, so I make them all the time. All you do is chop up some onion and peppers and saute those in a pan with a little bit of oil. And then I'm just adding some baby Brussels sprouts, which these ones are frozen. A lot of times I'll use fresh, but sometimes if I'm just trying to go quick, then I'll use frozen ones. And then I have some organic cauliflower rice that I'm just gonna add to the pan. And then I'm gonna put the lid on that and let that cook. If you're not a vegan, then you can also add an egg to this. And it's super yummy to have like a scrambled egg in the fried rice. So while that's cooking, I'm gonna mash up some avocado and just add a little bit of sea salt and garlic powder to that. And then also I'm just gonna season the veggies that are cooking with a little bit of sea salt and garlic powder and paprika. Once that's all nice and soft, then I just add it to a bowl, top it with the guacamole, and then sometimes I'll just top it with some sprouts just for a little bit of extra nutrients. 